introduction and welcome all to this joint webinar with JAMA Software. So during this webinar, we will present how SCAD and JAMA integration contributes to bridge the gaps in safety critical embedded software development process. We all know the new safety critical product development challenges with more and more uh, stakeholders involved in, in mo modern projects. And, um, and currently, and more and more, these people are now some working from home or remotely. Uh, they are using several languages, they have several skills and role in the project, and uh, with a, a lot of specialized tools uh, in order to collaborate. So, Without taking care of all these challenges, we can get many gaps that can lead to misunderstanding, of course, waste of time, duplication of work, redundancies, etc. So, collaborative work is a must, and uh, there is a need for a collaborative platform enabling remote collaboration and easing data sharing and production. And this is uh, why uh, during this webinar, together with Michael Jastram from JAMA Software, we will explain and show how the JAMA platform can be used in order to integrate uh, the full traceability flow from requirements to implementation and testing, and also with all the SCAD artifacts, enabling this collaborative work. I will start with a short introduction about SCADE. Um, so, of course, and you will see that uh, everything starts from requirements. And in the SCADE uh, DO178C workflow, but we can use this in many other uh, safety standards like ISO 262662. We can start developing the software architecture. So the, the SCAD architecture is there in order to capture the software architecture. And thanks to ANSYS made in analyze, you can perform your safety analysis using this architecture and, and generate and assess some requirements or generate some new safety requirements. Once this is done, people are starting the design phase. We have two design phase tools. Uh, the, for the control part, SCADE suite. For the human main uh, interface, for the graphical part, SCADE display. What's very important with the SCADE approach is that we are model-based. And from this model, we define the behavior of, of the system. And then from this, we can perform very early closed loop testing with a, a model, a plant model, for instance, using digital twin um, and uh, yes, uh, and twin builder. Then again, a very important in SCADE approach, you perform all the verification at model level, then we can generate the code, the code that will be embedded at the end, and this code generator is certified according to the most uh, important safety standard, I mean DO178C, but also uh, ISO 2626 up to level D, and also EN and IEC standards. And we generate 100% of, of the code, and we will show that in the demo. And once we have this model and code, of course, we can perform all the testing activities using a SCAD test. And when we have made all the verification, of course, we can move to the target and, and, and run that on the target. Okay, so this is, of course, a very short summary of the full workflow with um, positioning of, of the SCAD, uh, SCAD, um, SCAD tools. These SCAD tools have been used in many applications, in many programs, several uh, commercial aircraft, 11 commercial aircraft, but also regional jets, business jets, helicopters, etc. 
and the SCADE is currently embedded in more than 300 aerospace and defense system uh, where SCADE has been used for, for, for instance, engine control, flight control, avionic and display. So, uh, for instance, 72 uh, flight control has been designed using SCADE, and we have the SCADE automatic generated code embedded in, in that uh, aircraft. And if we uh, consider uh, the usage at Airbus, for instance, for the A350 program, SCADE has been widely used in many applications like the flight control system, for instance, but also the engine control, the fire protection system, braking system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. SCADE is also used in automotive, and for instance, SCADE has been used uh, by Subarus in a hybrid vehicle for the, the engine control uh, software, and this was a very uh, important and, and great uh, success with a great reduction of, of task and, and, and cost, of course. So this was the, the intro about uh, SCADE, so I will now give the ball to, to Michael so that he will introduce JAMA so uh, it's okay, Michael, it's up to you. Thank you, Francois. So, I mean, that was a great introduction regarding um, SCADE systems. I want to go back to the slide that Francois was sharing in the beginning, where he was outlining the um, architecture of SCADE, the way how your development is typically organized. And I want to talk a little bit about this small area that doesn't take up much space on the slide, but which is very important and significant because this is the point where you capture your stakeholder needs, which ultimately ensures whether your product will be a success or not. So I want to talk a little bit about how you can acquire the system and the software requirements. And this is where JAMA software comes in and helps you to cover all these activities in a single source of truth. So, um, in case you've never heard of JAMA software. So JAMA is a solution for product development. Product development includes, of course, capturing the requirements, requirements management, but also activities like test and quality management, which gives you end-to-end -end traceability and also risk and hazard analysis because a lot of our customers are using JAMA for functional safety critical work the same way that SCADE is being used. So JAMA is a platform that achieves these things by providing you with key capabilities like traceability, like collaboration, reuse, and many others. I don't want to go here into detail. And in a minute, uh, Francois and I will give you a live demonstration so that you can actually see how all this plays out in practice. One thing that is very important that I would like to point out is that JAMA is a, an open platform, so it is very easy to seamlessly integrate it with other tools. So we see JAMA as a best of class solution, and for this part of your development, you want to use best of class, and so do you want for others. And that's why you're using SCADE, I assume. And so we ensure that you have a seamless integration. And the integration between JAMA and SCADE is another thing that you will see in a minute here. Okay, so before I give you a, a tour of the solution, let's look at the problem with respect to product development today. So in product development, you typically follow the V model if you have to do with functional safety critical systems. And this has been practiced um, since the 60s very successfully. So there's just one problem with it. So the, the V model in systems engineering tends to be slow. So by the time you defined your concept of operations, you went all the way down to the implementation level. So by the time you can do the verification and validation activities on the top level, a lot of time passed. So there's a lot of interest these days in agile methodologies. And one question that we often hear is, how do you apply agile methods in the context of functional safety, critical work and systems engineering. And so the answer to that, we call continuous engineering. 